So you just got your first Minecraft server with Pine Hosting and you want to select and change your Minecraft version. Minecraft has a lot of options to choose from, so in this video we're going to show you how to do it. First thing you want to do is head over to your Minecraft server, and then on the left, every Minecraft server will have a versions tab. Once you're in the versions tab, you'll see there's a bunch of versions to choose from here. This list can grow in future as we add different versions and as different versions come out, but these are all the main popular ones. As you can see, it automatically detects your current running version, which is the latest vanilla version right now, but you can easily change to something. So let's just change to paper, for example. In this page, it'll give you all the releases. You can also filter by snapshots. As you can see there, it added a few snapshots if you wanted to get more fine-tuned versions, but we're just gonna install the latest release of paper. It lets you select all the different builds. Generally, I would stay on the latest one unless you know what you're doing. And then it gives you two options. You can either wipe your server files, which I suggest doing whenever you change versions. Obviously, this means you will lose server data. I would suggest taking a backup anyway, but wiping your server files is just a good way to make sure that there's no conflicting files that can cause issues. You can also accept the EULA. This just means you don't have to accept it when the server boots for the first time. So if you're happy with that, just click that and then click install. Give it a second and you'll see it instantly changes and detects the new Minecraft version you're running. Once you boot the server, it will download all the paper files. A couple things to mention with this version switcher is all the different versions have different panel features. So for example, paper supports plugins. You'll notice it has a plugins tab here. Forge will support mod packs and depending on the version you're running, it'll have different features on the left. So just keep an eye out for those. The only two other things to mention is the Bedrock versions. Obviously Bedrock is very separate to Java. So all these other ones run on Java. This is Bedrock. This will install the latest version of Bedrock for you. And this totally changes things. So make sure that you're aware that all your files are gonna be wiped when you do this. It's not good to leave any Java files when changing to a Bedrock server. The final option is a custom jar. If we don't support the jar that you wanna run, you can upload any custom jars. Even if you've made your own or you have a fork of one, you can just click here drag and drop the file, and then select your options and install it. One other cool feature about our panel is it automatically detects the jar you're running. So for example, if I actually delete this jar, which was paper, and if we choose to upload this server.jar here, which is a NeoForge jar, we'll let that upload. Then if we head to the versions page, you can see it automatically detects and changes the panel features on the left here. So if you do upload jars through the file manager because you know what you're doing a bit more and you just wanna do it that way, it'll still work and it'll automatically detect as soon as you come onto this page. I think that covers all the important features of the version changer. As I said before, this will continue to grow as we add new versions and as Minecraft changes. As usual, if you need any extra support, feel free to open a ticket and we'll be more than happy to help.